We had a case that we resolved recently on behalf of a woman who was working as a home health aide. That case took place in Queens. It was a building in Forest Hills. As part of her duty, she was escorting the patient, and while she was doing that, she tripped and fell down the stairs in the building. And the reason she did that was because there was a defect in the stairs. One of the stairs was missing a small piece, so when she put her foot on the stair, she just happened to hit that missing piece, and she tripped and she fell and sustained actually a, a fairly serious injury. She uh, fractured the bone in her lower leg. She needed surgery. She had to have a nail inserted into her leg. Uh, in order to correct that. Um, she was unable to work for a long uh, time after that and our allegation was that the incident took place as a result of the negligence of the building for failing to maintain it properly in a reasonably safe condition and they didn't do that. And I actually um, get a lot of calls from home health aides in this type of situation because their work takes them into buildings. Most of the time those are the people they work for uh, that live in these uh, large apartment buildings. We deposed the super of the building who actually testified that he was aware of the stair being like that for quite a period of time, never bothered to fix it. There's really no good reason for that. It was our contention that the building was not reasonably safe. And as a result of that, um, our client was, uh, was very badly injured. Um, so we were able to secure a settlement of $240,000 uh, for the client. That took place, I think, about uh, two or three weeks ago.